Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, January 12, 2021. If you'd like to support that channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online tracing courses. So we're looking at Bitcoin and, uh, well, it has been an absolutely a horrible day for for Bitcoin. Basically, it started yesterday, um, basically on, on Sunday, started basically going up and down and so on, and now it just fell off a cliff. So we're down roughly twenty over twenty percent, and we are we have crossed the twenty exponential moving average on the daily chart. Uh, we can get the Bollinger Band, for example, and you can see that we are no longer inside of the uh, outside of the Bollinger Band. We got outside and then just broke drastically to the downside. So this is nothing new for Bitcoin. This is how Bitcoin has been trading uh, for technically forever. And most um, instruments usually do the same thing. So last time we were... Uh, this outside, this much outside of the Bollinger Band was back in 2017, and back then it lost. Well, it fell from 20,200 all the way down to 3,000. So, well, it's a long way down, to be very honest. And I would not be surprised if we saw a similar thing happening now. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Tomorrow, we may see Bitcoin rally again up towards 35,000, around half of this candlestick, give or take. And then on Wednesday, we could see another massive move to the downside. So that is what happened back in, uh, in 2017. It may not happen that, uh, that quickly. We may have uh, two or three weeks before we break all the way down to 20,000. But 20,000 is where I think, and I've been saying that for a very long time now, where I think we are going to go before this goes significantly higher. So the reason for that is basically these previous highs. So we have not tested those previous highs again. Usually you do. You rally, go back down, and then you rally again. We have just been on a constant rally. This is just a hockey stick all the way up to 41 or 41,000 and then it just dropped all the way down to roughly 40 30,000 and uh, yes that is most likely what is going to happen here so we'll go down go up and then bang all the way down to 20,000 we'll find major support here uh, at the 20 exponential and these previous highs and then we'll go to the very highest to 40 and probably beyond that it is impossible to uh, sustain a move like this so one other thing a lot of people got burned here so uh, sadly enough uh, people have been buying into this also here and uh, this will most likely go back to 40,000 um, uh, how long that will take um, I technically don't know in this uh, in this case probably two three months that uh, that is that is a fair possible that will it that will take. It could also take much longer than that. Considering what happened last time, it broke down this significantly. This basically took uh, years in order to recover. This was back in two thousand, in the end of two thousand seventeen, and we didn't break two thousand uh, again. Uh, basically, in the beginning of December two thousand twenty. So, so yes it could take a very long time it could also just bounce of the 20 exponential moving average and head to the very highest so institution i think basically came in here and just basically sold this market and and uh, a lot of people probably are stuck up here uh, thinking that it would go to 50 100 and so on because all the stories um, in the media and so on have been that bitcoin is going to 500,000 Ethereum is going to 50,000 and so on. And uh, yes, it basically means that people that are putting uh, just a thousand or ten thousand dollars into Ethereum, they will basically become fa fairly rich in, in no time. And uh, of course, when you put stories like that out constantly and you see that it is growing, people will start buying into this. But it just can't sustain this kind of growth. When things 
go outside of the bullish band similar to this, then it's a massive warning sign that this could collapse at any point. So it has, but the question is how far will go? I would bet on 20, it will probably take uh, two or three weeks, but, uh, but uh, there's, I think, where this market will bottom before we increase, uh, we go, uh, go higher again. So let's look at Ethereum. So we'll look at the daily chart first, just to see how, <laughs> how crazy this fall was. So it was down roughly 40, uh, 30%. Give or take 27, I think it was the highest it basically fell. So it fell all the way from the top here of uh, 1352 all the way to the bottom here of 905. So it stopped roughly just above the, the um, 20 moving average here in the Bollinger Band. And um, at this point, if you look at it, for example, taking the indicators, there's a lot of room to the downside still. We are not even close to being oversold. So it could fall all the way down to these levels here, roughly 600. It could also fall all the way down to the 200 uh, moving average, which is at 445. And then we'll probably be at roughly uh, 30 in the in the RSI. Taking the edge are looking dreadful for this, uh, for this um, cryptocurrency. We could also look at uh, Fibonacci retracement, for example, and you give it a very clear indication where we uh, found uh, some support. It was around here at the 40, um, uh, 35, 48, 38.2 Fibonacci retracement. Um, but the 50 is here, that's 832, and the 61.8 is here. So that's a 709. I would think that these two Fibonacci retracements should be enormous support. There will be a lot of buying coming in at these price levels. But Usually when you have days like this, you also have a pullback. But that pullback is usually back to towards, uh, I would say, roughly uh, 1,100, something like that. And then you will have another go to the downside, uh, probably to 50 or to 61.8 before this continues higher. If this breaks, then we're heading all the way down to 200 moving average. So at this point, if you want to buy into this, I would wait until it basically stabilizes and then basically catch it as low as possible. So let's look at XRP. So let's look at XRP. So this hasn't fallen as aggressively as uh, the other cryptocurrency. It had its enormous fall here back uh, this was basically in the end of November, where it tipped um, at uh, 0 0.77, 34, and then it went all the way down to 0 0.1698. It has tried to uh, tried to rally, but uh, we have found problems here at the 20 exponential moving average. We're trading underneath the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average at this point. Technical indicators are also very, well, they're not very positive for this cryptocurrency. Uh, RSI is at 44, and um, CCI is becoming fairly, well, it's basically flat at this point. Stochastic is bearish, and uh, MACD is also it's bullish, but it's underneath zero, so we're still, still in a negative trend here. Um, well, I've said it before, I wouldn't technically think about investing in this until we start seeing a real drive towards the 50 moving average and a break above the 50 moving average. Otherwise, this can just continue to fall as it looks like it is basically ready to go even further down at this current stage. So let's look at Litcoin. So Litcoin had an enormous fall today. We fell over 30% pullback. And you can see when the market now started opening again, we are having problems here at the 20 exponential moving average. And that is a very worrying sign for this uh, cryptocurrency. There's a lot of room to the downside. We're at 50 here in the RSI. And usually what happens is when you have such big falls here that you basically rally up towards the middle, which we actually have, and then pull back. And if you pull back here, then it's a, then it's a sign that we probably 
we're technically not finished with this fall. So we may see some choppiness here, but if we don't break the 20 exponential one week average um, soon, that is going to be a worrying sign. If we stay here for one to three, maybe five days, it is just going to tumble towards the 50 and probably break the 50 and go even further. Technical, technical indicators are dreadful for this cryptocurrency, so um, it's probably one that you can buy cheap when it falls probably below 50 and heading for the 200 moving average. So we'll see basically what happens here. So let's look at NEO. So we rallied all the way to 26, broke to 20, and then we have rallied a little bit again today. So this one looks more um, how do you get stable. We're still trading above the 20 exponential. We haven't crossed the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are mixed at this point. So, for example, MACD is bullish. The CCI is crossing. The stochastic is crossed. The signal line so is becoming bearish. CCI is still bullish, but it's becoming bearish. And the RSI is basically flat at this point. But we are at 66, so we're we're uh, we are basically close to the top. But we ran into major resistance here. It was the previous highs here at 25.82. And um, at this point, we may go back towards the 20 exponential and then continue the rally from here. That, that would basically be the best thing that could happen here. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, we can see that we found support here at the 38.2. But the 50, which is just above the 220 exponential, we should basically come down to 19.12. And there is basically your probably your best buying opportunity for this cryptocurrency. So this has fallen all the way. We have to go to the weekly chart. We have fallen from 134 all the way down. It went basically down to three points something. So the people that, that start shorting this, they did a, a really, really good job. They earned a lot of money. Um, it's technically an inverted hockey stick. Usually it's you see cryptocurrency the other way around, that it basically goes this and then it goes up. This basically started up here and then just crashed. So, yes, to be very honest, if we manage to take out this 25.43 level, then we go well, significantly higher from that. We'll basically go heading towards 50 and, and then beyond. So it'll be interesting. Um, I don't think that this is going to just explode to the upside, similar to the other ones, but all the other cryptocurrencies have had this up towards this high level, broken down, then just stayed flat for a very long time and then just rallied to the upside again, like Bitcoin did. So... Uh, we'll see. Uh, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest video, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.